Last time I did a really easy example for base 5 multiplication. And this time, this example, it's, it's actually also really easy, but um, it's more difficult than the previous one because it will require you to do some carrying when you do the multiplication. Now let's begin. And so we, just like usual, we are going to write down the first number, four, uh, 1, 4, not 14. So we are going to get 1, 4, base 5. And then you are going to put down the 2. Um, if you compare this example, I mean, if you compare my writing right now and with that of the previous example, you can see that I'm leaving more space here because that uh, we, we need to do some carrying. And so we just need to make sure that we have enough space to do, to do it. Okay, um, let me also put down the manipulatives so that we can see the multiplication in action. So we have one long, right? We have one long. That's all. That's what we have. And then we also have four units. Now, if you start doing the multiplication, you are going to do what? Four times two, just like how you do in base 10. What do you get from um, by multiplying four and a two? You get eight. And see what happens with the manipulatives is that if you are going to double this, if you're going to double this, then you can see that we do have, when we double the four units, we do have eight units in total. But you're not going to put down eight units here because the, the number eight does not exist in this base five system, right? So we are just going to, we, we need to regroup and write that as a minimal set. Yeah, so what we need to do here is to, is to convert five of those units into one long so that we will have a minimal set. Yeah, so see what happens is that we are going to convert. So we have one, two, three, four, five, right? And then we are going to gain one long. And so those five units will disappear. Yeah, so now what's, what do we, how many units do we have left? We only have three units left. Yeah, so in, when you multiply the four and the two, instead of putting down the number eight here, you actually need to put down because how many units that you have left after doing the carrying. So you're going to get only the three here. Now, how does that work? How do you, how do you get the three here? It's this four times two, you're going to get eight, but because we need to write the minimal set. So we are going to remove five of those eight units. And that, that means eight minus five, and then you are going to get the three. Yeah. So that's how, why we have a three here. And then we're going to do the carrying, right? So we, we gain, we remove those five units and convert them and turn them into one, one long, right? So we are going to get along here. That, that's a one. And so that's how I do the carrying. And then now you are just going to um, multiply the longs, right? We, we originally have one long and now because we double it, so we have two, but counting the one that we carry from converting from the units to, to the longs, we are going to get three longs in total. And so the answer for the longs would be three. As you can see here, we have three longs. And that's that's the answer. So one four base five times two base five will give us three three base five. And as you can see here, we have three longs and three units. So that, um, So those pieces agree with our answer. And we are going to do a more difficult example with more carrying next time. Thank you for watching.